guys, Costas here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So very briefly, I want to talk to you about the most recent chicken coop that I have designed. As you can see it back there, it's got the red roof. It's an A-frame design, and I call it a chicken sled because you can slide it from one place to another. Unlike a chicken tractor, it's not on wheels or anything like that, so there's no axles that you need to build. It's very simple. It's A-frame in design. It opens on both ends. And on my website, cosmopolitancornbread.com, I have the plans for how I created the frame for that coop back there. Now, I don't include the measurements and things like that for the ends because that's going to be based upon your needs and how you want to design it. I do walk you through the process of what I did at the end to finish it up but on the website you will find the plans for the frame itself all of the boards all of the measurements and everything it took to build that it's very simple this is I think the sixth chicken coop that I have built over the years and this is definitely my favorite by far uh, if I ever need to build more chicken coops down the road that's the design I'm gonna use uh, if I need to modify it at all make it bigger or what have you this is the route we're going to go. I'm very, very pleased with it. Now those of you who are subscribers of mine know that I vlogged the process um, all of the days that I was out there working on the coop. Mr. Smith was giving me a hand, but I just want to do a basic recap of the process of building it. So the first thing that I did was built the walls, and that is the two sides that are essentially the roof on the top of this coop. Now, once the walls were completed, we connected them together, and then we went ahead and we put in the roosting poles and some of the framing that would support the two sides together. Once we had the A-frame itself completed, we set it aside and we started working, <laughs> we started working on the base that it was going to be sitting on. After we completed building the base, we went ahead and we attached one inch hardware cloth. The reason I use the one inch hardware cloth is so that all of the chicken's droppings and all of the debris can fall through to the ground, making the coop essentially self-cleaning. And then once we had the base completed, we went ahead and placed the A-frame on top of it and attached it. We have the whole two big parts put together now. The A-frame structure is on top of the platform. So it's all attached and next we will start framing out the ends. We have a vent that will go on this end above the chicken door. And down at this end, there will be the window that I mentioned, the hardware cloth window above the big door. And the big door will be a good portion of this, probably about half of this, a little more than halfway up. It'll be designed so that we can reach in there to get the eggs, but then also uh, it will lay all the way down so that if we need to rake this out at all, we'll have the ability to do that and it won't uh, be in the way. And then here is where it has been completed and I took you through a walk through, a tour, so to speak, of the finished coop. All right, so here is the finished coop. I do still want to paint the raw wood, but that is not something that has to be done right now. We can do that later on. I'm just happy to get the chickens out here. So we initially put this latch on here, but decided we wanted something a little more sturdy, and we made one of the swivel types. That's how it opens up. The chickens can go up inside there, that's their roosts. And over on the other end here, we finished up the door. 
I honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make a shutter for this. I might just leave it as it is because airflow is important even in the winter time. And because the roosts are at the other end, I think this will be fine. The big door here, we also put a wood swivel latch. And right here, I added a leg that hinges out so that it can support the door when the door is open. That way it doesn't put any stress on the hinges. Hinges, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> that is, that's, they're still a challenge for me. Trying to get them on the right way for things to open the way we want them to. So, but we got it to work. And uh, we're ready. We are ready to move the chickens in here tonight. They will wake up in a new spot. And like I said earlier, I am very, very pleased with this coop. We've been using it for about a month now, and so far, there's nothing that I would change. I absolutely love it, and it is sturdy, it is durable, it's heavy, so it's not going to blow over. But it's light enough that Mr. Smith and I have been able to move it, pulling it with a pull strap. Of course, you might want to use an ATV or a truck hitch or whatever just to make it easier, but we have been able to move it by hand. So that is it. You can find the plans for the A-frame chicken sled on CosmopolitanCornbread.com along with hundreds of recipes, tutorials, helpful articles, and more. So be sure to check that out. I will link it down below. Thanks for watching, you guys.